It's no surprise that fighting of all kinds has traditionally been seen as the domain of men since time immemorial. After all, it's just what many men are built for by nature. And something that you can see when two young boys have to go at each other. With the refining of the art of fighting, combat sports has been no different. Wrestling and pancreation in ancient Greece were limited to males only. For a long time, boxing has been no different. From the bare knuckle brawls of the 18th century to the multi-million dollar brawls of the 20th and 21st centuries, it's been men. But the encouragement of women into the sport over the last few decades has turned out excellent talent. It proved that women are no slouches, and since their entry, we've seen many exceptional fights and amazing stories. We've seen that some of the best displays of skill and tenacity in the sweet science can be shown by them. In this video, we'll take you through the five most epic and influential women's boxing matches of all time. Let's dive in. Number 5. Clarissa Shields vs. Christina Hammer, 2019 This was the first tense and highly competitive belt battles that became a sensation fighting for airtime within a peak period for the likes of Tyson Fury and Andy Ruiz Jr. The fight was considered one of the biggest in women's boxing history, with Clarissa Shields of the United States and Christina Hammer of Germany being some of the best and most competitive female boxers. The most notable part about this is that both fighters were undefeated at the time, with Shields having an 8-0 record with two knockouts and Hammer having a 24-0 record with 11 knockouts. Christina Hammer in particular was and still is a different kind of beast altogether, possibly taking the crown for being one of the strongest female boxers ever to be active. The fight was for the undisputed World Middleweight Championship, meaning the winner would hold all four major world titles in the middleweight division. Shields emerged as the undisputed middleweight champion after a particularly electric and hard-fought fight. Women's boxing, we're on fire, she says. I cannot wait to see the next super fight. Right now, I'm the undisputed middleweight champion. Give me Cecilia Brackett at 154. That's who I want next, either her or Savannah Marshall. Indeed, directly on the basis of this victory, Clarissa Shields will go on to face Savannah Marshall in an iconic rivalry. Number 4. Christina Martin vs. Deidre Gogarty, 1996 This was it. The fight that put women's boxing firmly on the map for the first time ever. That too when the boxing world was still going wild about none other than Mike Tyson. The fight was part of the undercard of a pay-per-view championship match between Mike Tyson and Frank Bruno, which had 1.1 million buys. Those who started watching before the main event were probably not expecting much. To many of them, the idea of women boxing was far-fetched, and they probably hadn't thought anything of it. Instead, they were completely blown away by the ferocity, strength, and technical skill displayed by both Marion and Gogarty. The brutal slugfest that ensued was won by Martin in a six-round unanimous decision, leaving her bleeding profusely. And how many people were watching all of this unfold? This fight was seen in an estimated 30 million homes and in over 100 countries. Needless to say, the earth was shattered. The fight brought more attention to women's boxing than any other single event before or since. Martin's performance was so impressive that it led her to being the first female boxer featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated. From then on, promoters realized that not only female boxers can put up fights to rival the usual male superstars, but also that there's money to be had in promoting them. Number 3. Katie Taylor vs. Delphine Pursun II, 2020 Katie Taylor had proved herself in the Hall of Fame of amateur boxing years prior in the 2012 London Olympics. Since turning professional, she had been turning heads and scoring knockdowns seriously, and had continued her dominance as Ireland's favorite boxing champion. The 2020 fight was a rematch that lived up to all expectations. Both fighters had previously faced each other in a highly controversial match in 2019, with Taylor winning in a majority decision. That initial victory was no less significant by any stretch of the imagination, as Delphine Pursun had racked up an impressive record of 43-1 prior to that. She was tough, and she was ready to destroy the upstart Katie Taylor, but the Irish woman came out on top nonetheless in a shocking victory. In the rematch, Taylor once again emerged victorious, retaining her undisputed world lightweight titles. Despite the relentless attacks and forward pressure from Pursun, Taylor went into the flow beautifully, managing to land cleaner, stiffer shots over the course of the fight that gradually grounded Pursun. As the fight ended in controversy and dispute, this match finally put the beef between the two women to rest, as Pursun humbly accepted the scorecard. On top of that, the rematch victory was finally a chance for Katie Taylor to put an end to the naysayers and harsh critics. 
She said in an interview with the BBC, I did watch the fight back and it was obviously a very close fight. That's why there is a rematch. I definitely could have given her more than five rounds. So for people to say it was a disgraceful decision or it was a robbery is a disgrace in itself. It wasn't overshadowed by being on the undercard of the equally historic Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua fight. Katie Taylor's win was a supreme showcase for women's boxing, and she went on to further solidify herself as one of the leading champions in the women's boxing bracket. Delphine Pursun is not far behind, and she still has a more impressive record, standing at 49-3 at the time of writing. She hasn't lost a fight since then. Number 2. Layla Ali vs. Jackie Frazier Live, 2001 not only was this fight the first pay-per-view boxing card to be headlined by women, it was also a continuation of the historic rivalry between their fathers, Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. Yes, it was the closest possible thing to a sequel to that iconic trilogy of a rivalry. Layla Ali won the fight by majority decision after eight rounds and fulfilled a long desire to avenge her father's loss in the final fight of their trilogy, the famous Thrilla in Manila. She said, it was great. I really enjoyed whooping her butt. Despite the fighters' inexperience and wild, off-balance punches, they treated the crowd to a display of guts and determination. Although both rivals still tore into each other like there was no tomorrow, they were not as good as Christina Martin and Deidre Gagarty and what they showed to the world several years prior, and nor were they much compared to the high skill ceiling of today's female boxers. But today's boxers probably wouldn't have been here. The fight was loaded with social importance that far exceeds the skill level and experience of its participants. It served as an inspiration to the new generation of young women fighters, and particularly young black female boxers from the United States. Layla Ali was fighting more than just a boxing match for women there. The star power of the bloodlines of these women, of course, did help the fight and its marquee value along. The marquee value, of course, helped funnel more resources into women's boxing. Its success as a main card would serve as a template and an inspiration in the years to come. Number 1. Amanda Serrano vs. Danila Ramos 2023. In the year of Barbie and global society finds itself in a period of a headstrong forward march into more discussions about women's rights and their relationship with society. And this was the first time since 2007 that women have been in the ring for a title fight for as long as their male counterparts. Indeed, before legendary Puerto Rican female boxing champion Amanda Serrano fought the Brazilian Danila Ramos, a full 12 round fight for championship titles in the female brackets never happened. In 2007, Layla McCarter won 12 round bouts against Donna Biggers and Melissa Hernandez, although neither fight went all 12 rounds. It's with this context that we have selected this fight as the most memorable and the most important in women's boxing. The fight went all the distance over the 12 3 minute rounds, proving that women can indeed fight 12 rounds just like men. The match itself was a showcase of technicality and patience in a fight. Despite the extra time in the ring, both Serrano and Ramos showed no noticeable difference in their performance. Serrano won all 12 rounds on the judges' scorecard, a key factor in her victory being a higher volume of punches thrown in the fight that connected. The successful completion of the fight and its length have sparked a debate about whether women's boxing should universally adopt three-minute rounds. Advocates argue that more time in the ring increases the chance of a knockout and consequently a better spectacle. Amanda Serrano has been a strong advocate for equality in boxing. She, along with more than 20 current and former women boxers, signed a statement expressing their desire to fight three-minute rounds. They believe that they should be afforded the same time and opportunity to showcase their skills as their male counterparts. This is where the whole other can of worms relating to women's pay in sports and gender equality also comes into play. Being professional boxers, women don't necessarily risk less than men. In some cases, they may risk more, so they feel they better be allowed to go all the way. However, not everyone supports this change, citing health and safety concerns, which is still a very legitimate concern. One of those that have reservations is Katie Taylor, who prefers the two-minute format. I think the two-minute round is very high tempo and very fast-paced, she said last year. They say there will be a lot more knockouts in 12 three-minute rounds. Sometimes, I don't think there will be. Amanda Serrano's WBC belt was not on the line, as WBC President Mauricio Suleiman declined to sanction, citing of course health concerns. But either way, it cannot be denied that this fight has proven to be a new milestone, a milestone that could very well bring forward female boxers to the sport of boxing and give many more young women a strong incentive to become part of the sweet science. 
So what do you think? Do you agree with the list? Leave us a like and subscribe if you agree, or let us know in the comments if you think the ranking's off. We'll see you again when the dust settles on the canvas.